Elise Khan is asking about the rule on downloading the Quran and the Adhkar and religious uh, items on the phone, smartphone. Although I, I consider them to be stupid phones because you see people nowadays just using them, reading stuff that does not get them closer to Allah, does not benefit them in this dunya, simply waste of time. It makes people stupid when you spend like four or five hours just looking at this device. If you spend the same time on reading the Quran, Allah, you'll be in a better place. Nevertheless, so he's asking what's the ruling? The ruling is it's permissible. No one of the scholars I know had ever said that it is haram or not recommended. Now, the catch is, Brother Jalis most likely is asking for two reasons, or one of them. He's doubtful because how would I enter the toilets with my phone in my pocket, with the Quran in it, Quran app? There's no problem in that, none whatsoever, because the Quran itself is not physically there until you turn it on and you click on the app. And it's only zeros and ones. So it's program. It's, like, it's not even written until you turn it on. So there's no problem in doing that and entering the toilet, but don't turn on the app in the toilet. His second concern probably would be that though I have an app of Quran, yet I do have shortcomings. So I may have downloaded few music clips, videos, inappropriate material, I sometimes watch videos, I sometimes uh, um, listen to music. So he's confused now. How can I have this beautiful app that allows me to read the Quran? And at the same time, in the same device, I have this filthy material. Okay, this is sinful, but does not mean that you have to remove the good, which is uh, uh, the Quran app. It's like asking someone who memorizes the Quran but fell short and started committing sins to Akhi, this is not permissible, you have to forget the Quran. Don't go to the masjid and pray and might as well don't fast Ramadan because you're a disgrace to the hafiz of the Quran. This is not true, this is a sin and this is a good deed. So I would advise such uh, uh, people if this is related to Jalis Khan, to fear Allah Azza wa If you have the Quran in your app, you should not use the phone for something that is haram, such as music, which is the consensus of the four schools of thought that it is haram. I, I, I'm, I'm shocked when people come and say, ah, oh, it's an issue of dispute. Are you serious? Yani even if we do not take the ayat of the Quran in three locations, and we overlook the hadith, which is in Sahih al-Bukhari, and Sunan Abi Dawood, and elsewhere, with authentic narrations and chain of narrators. Even if we overlook that, the consensus of the four schools of thought, that it is haram. And you come and say, yeah, yeah, but Ibn Hazm. Who is Ibn Hazm? I said, I don't know. I heard someone say Ibn Hazm says it's okay. And they don't know anything about Ibn Hazm. So, music is haram. It, and watching video clips and movies is totally prohibited. No Muslim in his right mind would come and say, oh, watching movies is permissible. Going to the cinema is halal. This is pathetic. Such material is totally prohibited. In the, I don't know if any scholar, proper real scholar of Islam would allow this. Unless, I don't know. I don't know. But... If you fear Allah, you should take this out. If you're unable, if you're weak and you have it, there's no problem in reciting the Quran as much as you, you can. Do a lot of good deeds because good deeds erase bad deeds with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal.